Now that we've talked about worm's eye view and bird's eye view, here is an example of our project that we're going to do today. We're going to have a large 12 by 18 paper, and we're going to start off with dividing our paper into two parts. You can either do this by folding it in half, or you could use a ruler and decide how you're going to break it down. Our goal here is to be able to take what our first idea of the worm's eye view, something that imagine you're on the ground, everything is larger than you and really close, and how that's going to look. Things that are far away, if you chose to do a cityscape, is going to come towards you know the middle, like a focal point, and get really tiny as it goes up. So our goal here is to tell one story in the worm's eye view, and then you get to see the full story or a different perspective in the bird's eye view. I chose to have a dog where it's really zoomed in, and you can see I'm just quickly sketching using my pen here. You can use whatever medium that you would like to use. You can start off in pencil, and you can work your way through um, adding in color if you'd like. Here I'm focusing just on black and white, and I'm using different skills of stippling, which are the dots, cross-hatching, and just adding in various types of lines to create some of the different shadows. And here you can see how I'm building that. So take your time as you add in your layers. You can sketch everything first, you can add in as much detail as you want, or choosing color. Um, the most important thing is, is it's always easier to go darker, it's harder to go lighter. So really look at that picture, zoom in on it if you need to, zoom out. Sometimes it helps to take a step back from your drawing and be able to see so you're not focused too much on one space. And you'll notice as I'm progressing in mine here that I'm going to go back in in areas that I need to re, you know, define again. I'm going to make those areas darker. And also whenever you're adding an animal hair or you're focusing on different parts, think about, you know, the best thing for me to think about for the dog per se is how would you pet the dog? How would you go through and add in the hairs? Um, and that's what helps make it look more realistic because your brain is very smart and it knows where each of those are and how you would pet something even your own hair your you know would you comb it backwards if you have long hair probably not um, but work on that and then also think about the lighting where's the light source at so um, those different areas and things to think about as you're building your piece will help you with creating what you're looking for and uh, finally, just keep adding in some details, but combine things. If you can't find an exact image and you're trying to mix and match things, come up with the same, where is the light coming from? So that way everything follows that same pattern. Once you've finished your bir a worm's eye view, let's begin our bird's eye view. So try to remember what's the story that you were looking at um, when you were coming up with your worm's eye view. And now you're taking your camera lens. So remember we pretended that we had this camera and we zoomed in, kind of crouching from the ground at a worm's um, level and seeing the world that way. Now you're going to be a bird or imagine like you are on a drone, you have a drone or you're in an airplane and you're looking down, but you're not that far off from the ground unless you want to be. The further away you are, the less detail that you're going to see um, and the smaller things are going to look. So here I kind of mixed and matched. At first I was thinking I wanted to have a dog you know, um, zoomed out where it's got a ball under its, 
you know, are next to it and it's just passed out somewhere. Um, I saw another cute image of puppies and it's a mom dog watching her puppies eating from a bowl and I thought that was cute from that aerial bird's eye view. But then I came across, um, you know, a dock and thinking about wouldn't it be nice to have a pet you know your dog just kind of hanging out with you and you're sitting and watching a sunset or listening to the water on a pier or a dock you know by a lake so here I'm adding in the different wood grains of um, the boards and I had the dog and I placed a little ball by him and then I always think of my two girls so I've got like a little yellow rain jacket and a picture of a young girl sitting and looking at her dog that's resting and laying next to her with that cute zoomed in face we did for the worm's eye view so here you get the idea of the big picture of what they're doing for the bird's eye view and the worm's eye view you get the perspective of the girl looking at her cute puppy so um just as you're building and doing different things Think about how you're adding in and those details um, don't have to be very detailed because you're further away. So enjoy coming up with your bird's eye view and I can't wait to see what you all create. <music>